Today, we'll be reviewing the main navigation in Dynamics 365 online. Starting in the top left-hand corner, you'll see the main navigation for Office 365. This will give your users the ability to go back and forth between your Dynamics 365 organization and the other tools they use on a day-to-day -day basis, such as Flow, Power BI, and Mail. Looking at the black bar at the top of the screen, you'll find the Dynamics 365 specific navigation. Starting with the Dynamics 365 icon, we can access all of our business apps. Business apps give you the ability to allow users to access the system through different views or filters. This will give your sales users a simplified navigation that includes only the sales relevant information. Same goes for your customer service users. Moving along to our main navigational dropdown, you'll find each of the modules available to us in our Dynamics 365 organization. Here you can see this includes sales, service, marketing, field service, and project service, as well as some of the additional tools like gamification and insights. Under the dashboards dropdown, we'll be able to view our recently viewed records. Here you can see the four dashboards that I've navigated to recently. On the other side of our navigation bar, we have some other useful tools. The global search will allow you to search over all entities within your Dynamics 365 system. Here I can search for Alpine Ski House to look up records from across the system that are related to this account. As you can see, I have two account records, many contacts, a few leads, opportunities, and activities. This gives you some good contextual information when looking into a new account or someone you maybe haven't worked with in a while. Next in our navigation is our Recently Viewed tab. This will give me access to all of the recently viewed records as well as the recently viewed views within the system. I also have the ability to pin these things. If I expect to be using them frequently, I can leave them locked in this window. Next is your Quick Create. The Quick Create gives your users a simplified form to input content into the CRM system. For our account form, you can see this simplifies things down to about eight or nine fields. This makes manual input of data a lot easier than using the main form. And last, you have your Advanced Find window. Many Dynamics 365 users will be familiar with this window as it's your main tool for querying the system. The last couple icons within our navigation are settings, which allows you to set personalized options such as your home page or the number of records that show on any given screen. You can also access other tools like your learning path and your app for Dynamics 365. Last but not least, we have our profile icon where we can set our default image or sign out of the system.